Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Where can he be? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. And a tomato has grown on your tomato plant. That's your first one, isn't it? And when it turns red, it will be ripe and ready to eat. Yum! <laughs> Wait! You can't colour it and make it turn red. You have to water the tomato plant, then it will grow some more. That's it. Plants get thirsty, you see. Charlie, it takes time for a tomato to ripen and sunshine. Plants need water and sunshine too. Out into the sunshine goes Charlie and his tomato plant. And now back again. What's the matter? All I can see is a seagull. Oh, you think the seagull will eat your tomato? But seagulls don't eat tomatoes, at least not when they're growing on a tomato plant. You don't have to scare the seagull away, Charlie. Your tomato will be safe outside in the sunshine. It will. Beautiful farm. Look at all these amazing fruits and vegetables that are growing. Huh? Charlie? <laughs> oh, I see. You're a scarecrow. So are you protecting all these lovely fruits and vegetables? Ready to scare off any bird or animal that tries to eat them? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here to scare away. Not yet, at least. And look at this garden. There are tomatoes and cucumbers and carrots and lettuces and Frozo is a seagull. A seagull? This seagull is not easily scared, Charlie. He's not in your garden anymore. I think you can stop shooing him away for now. Don't think he would have eaten anything, Charlie. Caramel would eat something, though. She's a cow. She's even less scared of you than the seagull was. What are you going to do now? Caramel. If you can't scare her, push her, I suppose. Uh. It's not easy being a scarecrow, is it, Charlie? Um, Charlie, it's Niblet. And bunny rabbits definitely eat vegetables, especially carrots. You managed to chase him away, Charlie. Bravo, Scarecrow! Oh dear, they look very sad. They're hungry, Charlie.
Well, at least Caramel and Niblet are hungry. It's not much fun eating when everyone else is hungry and hasn't got anything to eat, is it, Charlie? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> That's such a lovely thing to do, Charlie. And now they won't eat anything in the garden because they'll be full of sandwiches. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Are you going to take your tomato outside, into the sunshine, so it ripens nicely and turns red? Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. What are you making out of that bendy pipe cleaner? Oh, a duck. I mean, a fish. A carrot is what I meant. No? Uh, ah, it's a circle, which could be an orange or a sun or a football, or a dinner plate, or a... Aha! It's a basketball hoop! I knew it. It's... I was gonna say that. Or, mm. Basketball can take a while to learn, Charlie. OK. Time to try and get the ball in the hoop. Oh, unlucky, Charlie. But you'll get it in next time. Next time, Charlie, you can do it. Not to worry, Charlie. You'll get better with practice. And then when you do get the ball in the hoop, it'll make you feel so good. It just might take a little time, that's all. Didn't seem right, Charlie. Why don't you practice doing it properly? It'll be a lot more fun that way. But isn't it boring getting it in every time without even really trying? You think it's fun, okay. Wow! A real basketball court, Charlie! That's a real proper basketball. And you're wearing real basketball boots, too. Are you ready to play? Hey, Midge is ready to play basketball as well. Ah, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one basketball, Charlie. You versus Midge. Are you both ready? OK. Whoa, Midge seems to know what he's doing. You'll have to be good to get past him, Charlie. Oh, good move, Charlie. Yes! Good shot, Charlie Bear. and blocked Midge's shot. That's incredible. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Where did you learn how to play like that? Super basketball expert, Charlie. You really are. Oh, Midge got you that time, Charlie. Go, Midge! Oh, bad luck, Midge.
You'll have to get a lot closer to take a shot, Charlie. You can't get it in from there. No one could get it in from there. Whoa! How did you do that? You were absolutely miles away. <laughs> oh, good shot. Oh, and another one. And another one. And another. Well, there's a surprise. It's like you can't even miss the hoop anymore, Charlie. Oh, this is just ridiculous. It's too easy now, isn't it? It's got so boring. Mitch is asleep. And even you are not having much fun now, are you, Charlie? Oh, don't give up, Charlie. Practice takes time, remember? And when you do get it in, you'll feel so good because you got better by practicing at it. Hooray! Well done, Charlie Bear! You earned that, Charlie. I'm so proud of you. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. <laughs> bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Why are all those things piled up on the floor, Charlie? Are you making something for caramel? Aha! Is it a house? Don't worry, Charlie. Just build it all again. There! I told you it would... Oh, it came tumbling down again. Oh, Charlie, you're not going to give up, are you? You shouldn't give up just because it's difficult. You'll succeed if you just keep trying, Charlie. Are you going to try again? of time at the beach will cheer you up, Charlie. It is a beautiful beach. Oh, look! Caramel is here too! Um, Charlie, I think Caramel wants you to build her a sand castle. Go on, Charlie! You can do it! Do it for Caramel! She wants you to! That's it! Looking good, Charlie! That's a nice scallop shell. Yes, that shell's a bit tricky, isn't it? But no reason to give up, eh, Charlie? Try it again. Yes! Bravo, Charlie! help that, Charlie. So never mind. Just build another sandcastle further up the beach, away from the waves. sand is too dry, Charlie, that's all. I know. It seems like everything is going wrong, but the important thing is not to give up. 
wet sand is what you need. Yes! Perfect! Well done, Charlie. You kept at it and built a wonderful sandcastle for caramel. Uh-oh. Whoops. Niblet didn't mean it, Charlie. It was just an accident. Well, I'm sure Niblet understands. But, um, you are watching where you are walking, Charlie. Charlie? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Are you going to build it again, Charlie? up, Charlie. Not again. You're not going to let Caramel down, are you, Charlie? Oh, well done, Charlie Bear. You did it. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. And what a wonderful house for caramel. <laughs> Whoops! That's the idea, Charlie. Just keep building. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? That looks like a fish hook. But there are no fish in there to catch. That's Midge! Someone caught Midge! It's you, Charlie! You're fishing in your toy box. I bet Midge was surprised. What else will you catch? You caught Bellerina! A shoe? And now a tennis racket! Brilliant! A lot of great catches, but not one fish. Have you ever caught a real live fish before, Charlie? Would you like to? Wait! You can't catch a goldfish, Charlie. She wouldn't like being caught. Not at all. to catch a real live fish. You can carry on fishing in your toy box. It's just as much fun, maybe even more fun. Wow, Charlie, you're in a boat in the middle of the ocean. I guess you are going to do some fishing for real fish. Oh, the 
this is nice, Charlie. Just the sound of the seagulls, the warmth of the sun, and the gentle bobbing of the boat. Fishing is very relaxing, you know. I was just, oh, did you feel a nipple? Have you caught something? Is it a fish? An ice skate? Well, that's unusual. Oh, hold on. Maybe this is a, a teapot. An umbrella? A train? And even a bunch of broccoli? Well, people just shouldn't throw things in the ocean, especially broccoli. I love broccoli. How many things have you caught now, Charlie? One, two, three, four, five. Five things, but still no fish. Where are all the fish today? Whoa, please sit down, Charlie. Phew. No more standing up and rocking the boat, please. Oh, are you going off to find some fish? You could have a fish on the end of your line, Charlie. Oh, maybe it got away. Whoa, no, it's back again. And it's not going away. Whoa, it's so strong. It must be a huge fish you're trying to catch, Charlie. It is a huge fish, a massive fish. Maybe even a shark. Oh, no. Hold on, Charlie. Just hold on tight. You'll be OK. Charlie? Get out of this! Oh! <laughs> ah. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. You didn't really want to catch a real live fish, did you, Charlie? <laughs> bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you.